Well, good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man. As you could see in my, or maybe you didn't see it, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, I've been struggling with this GoPro. I'm beginning to think it might be a media mod, this little case that goes around. I'm thinking it might be an issue with that, not always getting a good connection uh, to the USB port. I don't know. Who knows? Sometimes I get, and what I'm struggling with is sometimes I turn it on, uh, the camera on, and I'm not getting any audio. So I'll go do an entire moto vlog, get home, and there's no, no audio. When the GoPro is inside the media mod and you turn the GoPro on, there is a little indicator to show that it is getting sound. It, it has like a little audio meter that shows up at the bottom. So I can tell by looking at the back of the screen or at the screen itself if I'm actually getting a signal. And when I came out this morning and turned it on, I wasn't getting a signal. I was getting no audio meter. So I knew I wasn't going to get any uh, audio. Anyway, welcome to Cruise Man's Garage Motor Vlogs. I have uh, some, I guess you would call it, I'll let you decide if it's good news or not. Honda has officially announced the 2023 Goldwing models. So we now know that the uh, 2023 Goldwings are out and will be shipping soon. Um, how many they're going to be shipping is still still remains to be seen. I don't have much hope uh, that dealer supplies are going to be much better than they were with 2022 models. But we'll see. Uh, like some of you, I think I'm a little disappointed that uh, they got, I'm, I'm disappointed they got rid of the blue because I was really wanting a blue Goldwing, that blue color for 2022. I never could find one. I know some of you found one because I see a lot of you that have them. And uh, the only color now is black and the ardent red, which is from the uh, original 2018 color list. So Honda has now limited their color choices to two colors, black or red. I'm going to go right. This is going to take forever. This time of day is just 8 o'clock in the morning. I'll never get out of here. So I'm going to go a different way. So um, not really sure what Honda's thinking is on the color choices. I find it rather disappointing that they only offered the black. I'm not a big fan of black motorcycles. I have enough trouble keeping my white motorcycle clean with all the dust we have here, so I don't really want to deal with trying to keep a black motorcycle clean because they show everything. Um, plus, I feel like a white or a lighter colored motorcycle, something that's a little brighter, I don't know, maybe I just have a, I have this weird feeling that it's somehow safer, that it's more visible, people can see it easier than a black motorcycle. That's why I wear a yellow jacket instead of a black leather jacket. Um, but I don't know, that might just be my own prejudice. I also am a little disappointed, I'm just going <laughs> to, it's going to take me a long time to get home today because there's just too much traffic here. So now, somehow, I'm going to have to, somewhere, someday, I'm going to have to make a U-turn. I don't know when it's going to happen. Maybe now. And, of course, uh, the ob other obvious disappointment, which nobody was really expecting any changes in the new Goldwing, or the 2023 model. And uh, I think 
we now know for sure there are no changes other than a price increase uh, the price increase actually wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much higher. I thought uh, I thought it'd be over thirty thousand dollars for the DCT Tour model, and they have been able to hold it just under thirty thousand, about twenty nine thousand six hundred, I believe. So, you know, I think it still remains uh, comparatively a good value. I don't think it's a good value just because I think that's a lot of money to pay for a motorcycle. But, uh, you know, compared to some of the other bikes I've been reviewing or looking at, uh, you know, it's less than the BMW K1600 GTL. It's less than the Indian Pursuit I just tested. But nevertheless, I, I'm happy that they do have a 2023 model. I don't. I still have not received the Goldwing that I'm supposed to be reviewing, so I don't know if I'm going to be getting a 2023 or a 2022. I don't know. It wouldn't make much sense, I wouldn't think, for Honda to send me a 2022 at this point. I just don't know yet. So, And I still I haven't heard anything. It's been a month since I last communicated with them, since they told me they were sending me a bike, and I haven't heard any more back from Honda. I'll let you know as soon as I do. So the problem that I've solved, as the thumbnail indicated, is many of you are aware, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, that I've complained about the Bluetooth on the Goldwing and the troubles that I've had getting my headsets to connect or reliably connect to the Goldwing. I don't have any trouble pairing these headsets. So right now I'm using a Cena 50S and I haven't any trouble pairing headsets to the Goldwing. The trouble is when I start the Goldwing every day and I turn on the headset, it doesn't connect. It, I mean, it does connect but I get no audio through the headset. It, there's no sound. Now, I know some of you have had this same problem. Or a lot of you have had this same problem. Well, I think I may have found a solution. So, the other day, for out of nowhere, I started to notice something. And let's back up. Let me back up to the beginning. I have to tell the story correctly because I have to give you a little bit of history on how I solve problems. My background is software development. I was a, basically a coder. I wrote code. And I continually had to learn how to trace down problems. And if I had a bug in my software, if there was a problem in my code, what I would have to do, the, the ink you just kind of learn you say well when was it working last and let's go back into what have I changed since it was working last is it there's something I did between yesterday when the software was working and today when the software is not working so you go back and you retrace and you think what have I changed and that's just kind of a natural problem-solving uh, mechanism at least it is in software development. The other day, I started to notice that this Cena 50S, or Cena 50S, whichever you want to call it, I like to call it Cena, but it doesn't matter. I've decided I don't care anymore what I call it. I noticed, wait a minute, I have not had to restart this Cena. It's connecting. Every time I turn on the bike, every time I hit turn on my headset, now, it's connecting reliably like 10 times in a row and it's never done that it's never it'll do it every now and then like one out of 10 times it'll connect reliably but it never connects reliably and so i started thinking what what have i changed i haven't changed anything god knows i honda hadn't updated their navigation or their audio system in two years so it can't be anything to do with the gold wing I haven't updated the firm on the center it's the same firmware version I've been using for a few months what changed I, I, I you know for two or three days I could not think of anything different that I was doing different I'm turning it on the same way everything's the same 
and the thought came to me in my sleep or as I was just waking up, I realized what I had done differently. I realized what maybe I have done. The only thing I've changed, the only thing I've done differently that could have possibly caused this headset to start connecting reliably to the gold link. And when we come back from this short break, I'm going to tell you what it was and how to solve this problem. So welcome back. I know you can't wait to hear the solution to the Bluetooth connection issues from the headset to the Goldwing. The only thing I did differently that's now causing, maybe causing this to connect reliably to the Goldwing is I paired this 50S to that Indian Pursuit. And I don't know if you know it or not, but you can have a headset paired to more than one motorcycle on the A channel. So, and it, re and it connected reliably every time to that Indian. No problem. And I never unpaired it from the Indian. So if I went and got on the Indian right now and turned on this headset, it would connect to the audio system on the Indian. The only thing I did differently was I paired this to the Indian. I left it paired to the Goldwing too. So now when I get on the Goldwing, it pairs to the Goldwing. If I get on the Indian, it pairs to the Indian. So here's your solution. It's very simple, a simple solution. It was so obvious. I'm surprised Honda didn't recommend this to begin with. If you want your headset to pair to the Goldwing reliably, just go buy a $33,000 Indian Pursuit and pair your headset to the Indian and then from then on your headset will pair to the Goldwing. You don't even have to ride the Indian from then on. Just park it in your garage. Simple fix. There, you've got it. That's That was my solution. The only thing I've changed and now my headset connects reliably. I have not tested this theory with the Cardo but I have with the Senna. So there you go, you're welcome. So thanks for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Until then, make sure ride often, but always ride safe.